Hi guys, welcome back to my second ever video on bugs with Henry. Now, uh, really, just really quick, I'm really sorry that it took me so long to upload. I've just been working on some facts, you know, looking up some facts. And um, here is my, as you can tell by the name of the video, my complete guide of how to keep giant African millipedes. Now, right off the bat, I mean, you've seen Millie before, so it's not like, you know, like first time being a Right off the bat, you can see her big container. You didn't really see it very well before, only at the very bottom of it, like, up to there. But, yeah, you can see I just keep her in this container called a... What's the name? Well, it's, it's on this end. But if you can't see, it says really useful box. And they're really good containers. They're really strong and thick. And if I take the lid off, there she is in the corner. Um... No, let me just move the camera back a bit so that you can see um, her water bottles are tiny bit dirty. I'll just fix that in a bit. Um, but yeah, you can see she's got a bit of cuttlefish bone in here because these guys need calcium, you know. I collect them because, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> I usually collect them when I go on holiday at the beach. So yeah, look, we've got some grape in here and uh, water needs to be filled up too. Um, and yeah, we've got some fake leaves for her to hide under. That's a real leaf. <laughs> um, and then look, we've got her coconut. Uh, how I got that coconut is a friend of mine um, gave it to me because he had it for his leopard gecko. And uh, he didn't need it anymore. So yeah, he just didn't need the he just didn't need the coconut. It didn't fit in the enclosure. So let me get Millie out, actually. Now I think about it. Get out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she's pooing. So, yeah, sorry if she poos, but let me talk about Millie for a second and, you know, what good pets these guys are. Now, I really recommend these as a, you know, beginner pet for anyone who wants to keep bugs like me because they're, you know, they're really docile. Who's got poo stuck on her butt? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, they're really docile and they don't mind being handled too much apart from the poop bit. That's a tiny bit annoying that she poops. Um... But yeah, they're they're really good. They're really docile. They can't bite or sting. Um, they're not they're not that kind of bug. So yeah, they're really docile. You can see Millie's coming out. Um, and they're really they're really not that heavy. You'd expect you know something like this to be quite heavy, but um, yeah, she's really not. Oh, I'm really sorry. She's pooping on me. Millie, the one day you get to be in a video, maybe not the one day, but. Come on, you could at least not poo on me for your, you know, video. This is, this is your time to shine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. What was that laugh as well? But yeah, um, you can see I got this soil from a shop called the Reptile Barn, which is the same shop where I got her herself from. Uh, I had this container lying around. Got the fake leaves from some sort of gardening centre. I can't remember what it's called. You usually, like put them on your like your know, fence gate or whatever, just as decoration. And they work really well. Uh, Tell you how I got the hide. Yeah, she's quite she's quite big. She's just crawling up my hand right now. There she is. Beautiful Millie. But I'm gonna need you to get off now, please, so I can you know talk about your enclosure. So yeah, that you can see she likes broccoli leaves and you know grapes and. She didn't mind, oh, you good, <laughs> she's good, she, she didn't mind mango when we tried her out on it, oh uh, no, she's trying to come out, um, get back in, <laughs> oh, there we go, curl up, curl up, so yeah, um, she likes to hide quite a bit, she doesn't actually burrow, I was told they need quite a bit of soil so they can burrow, but she doesn't actually burrow, sorry about the on my hand she doesn't actually burrow so she just hides in her coconut and under the leaves once or twice she has like dug out a bit of soil so she like you know, excavated a bit out of the coconut or out of under the leaves so she can hide better but apart from that they're really easy to keep um got a thermometer in the enclosure here it's by exoterra um uh yeah got some broccoli she's been eating i had some potato in here earlier but i think she's oh, wait no there it is I was gonna say I think she's completely eaten it, but yeah. And that was a whole like slice of potato. So yeah, she likes potato. Um yeah, really easy to keep good beginner pets. Um another thing you need to watch out about though is once or twice I found flies in her enclosure. Now they're not really a problem. They're just attracted by this like, you know, horrible you know, not horrible, but yeah, attracted by the food. I'm just gonna clench my fist. You probably not gonna want to look at her poo. Um, but yeah, they're attracted by the food, and 
they're not going away just because you want them to. So you're going to want to change the food out regularly so you know, it doesn't attract flies or just get pest tape from the stores. Um, apart from that, they're really easy to keep. Yeah, you, uh, uh, um, winter, I usually have my heating on, so it's it's going to be fine anyway. Ooh, it's almost Christmas now, by the way. And I'll have a surprise video for you guys at Christmas. I'm not going to say what it is yet, though. But yeah, anyway, but yeah, um, what was I Can't even remember what I was saying. Two of you talking about. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> In the winter months, we keep our heating on, which will be fine. Uh, but some people get, you know, heating and for her, and that's good. But you don't really need to spend the extra money if you don't really have much left, like me. You don't have to spend the extra money, really. Um, but yeah, that's really all you really need to take care of them. I'll have more info, and in, maybe I'll have more info in other videos. You know, if you really want me to. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Bye.